It's Magic Mermaid again with my friend Dutch, who's super great. I love this guy. And he's teaching me about memory techniques and he wants to help all you out. So um, here we are. This is um, part two of the memory techniques. Aloha. So we left off, we were talking about the body list and how to remember things. We were talking about things in your subconscious that are mixed up and just floating around and we assign them a list. And we also went through how we taught our lovely host here within a couple of minutes, her body list. And so that's a list of 10 items. And we make it easy, and I want you to do this too. Starting from the ground, moving up, we're gonna pick 10 items. So feet is number one, knees is number two, thighs is number three, butt is number four, five is your hands. And it's interesting to note that five fingers, right? So that's the middle spot. Five is your hands, right, five right, fingers. Right. Moving right up the body is the elbows is six, shoulders is seven, neck is eight, face is nine, crown is 10, right? So mm -hmm. if you just take a few moments, this is not hard to do because you already know your body, right? Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of making it easy and going from the ground up. Right. You should go forwards and backwards really fast. Now, now you have 10 places to store information. And here's the trick, which actually is not a trick. It's how your, your mind actually works. But in order to remember anything, you have to have a picture of a storage place. Now you have 10 items to store new information. Then you have to have the new information formatted into a picture. And you put the two together. So in her example, we've already done this, uh, a grocery list is the perfect uh, application for your body list. Have you ever made a grocery list and then got to the store and realized you forgot the list at home? Yeah, you don't have to yeah do I that have, anymore. I have. <laughs> right? So um, one of the things I asked her, I said, so, name something you buy at the store. And she said an electric toothbrush. So in order to remember that, number one on your body list, the storage place is your feet. So you have a picture of your feet and then she needs an electric toothbrush. So you have a picture of electric toothbrush. You put those two pictures together and you use creativity. One, two, three. By making one picture out of the toothbrush and the feet, it could be where you plug in your toe, right? And the toothbrush is running in between your toes. That'd be very sensitive, right? You have to involve your senses. Taste, touch, taste, sound, smell, and whatever else you got to, to feel with, right? Mm -hmm. uh, sound. The other thing is your mind tends to forget that, which is mundane, but if you blow things out of proportion, which you can do in your mind when you tap your creativity. So for example, the toothbrush could be 10 stories tall and you're uh, balancing on the bristles with your toe or something, <laughs> right? Now, that I came like from that. my mind, but you work that yourself. That's you, cute. You, you come up with three things. It's all baseball. One, two, three. You put those two pictures together, involve some kind of sound, feeling, touch, or whatever, and then you move on to the next item in your list. So you get carrots, put carrots and knees together because knees is number two. And you Bronner do that. soap. That's my other thing I'm trying to remember. Bronner soap. Yeah, so like whatever it is, soap. you just, you know, put them right up there on the list and you mm -hmm. go one, two, three, blow it out of proportion. And mm -hmm. when you go back through your list, if you forget something, mm -hmm. Uh, then just add four and five, which is sex or pain. Okay. And you'll lock it in. Yeah, right? yeah. This way, you can go forwards and backwards through right. your list just by, in your living room, I said if I mixed you up and you wouldn't know where you are, but as soon as you touch something, you would instantly know what you left there and what's around you. Right, right, right. right. So on your list, all you think of is, well, what's number one on my list? My feet. Oh, yeah, I remember I was using that electric toothbrush on my feet in some crazy way, and that's number one. Right, all right. All you have to do is think of the number of the list item on your body and whatever you put there, if you did a good job of one, two, three and added sex or pain, it's gonna come to you. Right, Just right. Just like in your living room. Right. As soon as you bump into something. Right. Well, that's enough to think about. Start tapping into your creativity. Nobody needs to know what you're thinking when you're making creativity. Like right. I said, that toothbrush could be 10 stories tall. Exactly. Or it could be absolutely teeny. Right, Roll right. Roll it out of proportion. Right. Have fun with your life. And don't exactly. forget, Exactly. it's all about aloha. Exactly. I, I the planet. Totally, you're my brother and you're my sister. I totally agree. And, and I remember what you were telling me about when you're trying to remember a name. Yeah, so names are a little bit more challenging. What you do is well, as soon as you see someone's, are we out of time? No, no, I'm saying, but we shouldn't use that one example. We'll come oh, yeah, up with a better <laughs> example. <laughs> Let's be. <laughs> so names, uh, right now we've only been working with nouns. You know, this is a three-day course that we're packing into what, eight minutes? I'm just giving you the concepts, right? Right, for right. For names, um, you want to, when you meet somebody, you look at whatever it is on their face that catches your eye first.
not what they're wearing, because next time you see them, they'll be wearing something different on their face. So now you have that as a holding place, a storage place, and then you get their name and you format their name into a picture mm -hmm. and attach it to like if it's their nose mm -hmm. that you notice first. You know, that's the storage place. And then if their name is Brian, I happen to use fry pan for Brian. Right, right. And I, I'd smack him in the nose with the fry pan, right? Or, <laughs> or uh, you know, I'm sauteing a bunch of noses, right? <laughs> oh, boy. So whatever your this mind is a reality comes up show, with, nobody it? has to know what you're using, right? Right, as right. As or you could think of a flower. Like if you see a flower in someone's, you can see a flower. You well, know, if you the see flower the flowerness of somebody. Their name. Oh, right, right, right. And if they're wearing a flower, next time they won't be. If their name is Heather, um, that associates with a flower, a purple flower right, so of Scotland. we don't Scotland. want to associate anything. What we want to do is get a book of names. Right, right. each name, and okay. based on the way the name sounds, come up with an image. So anytime you meet a Brian, you're always going to use a fry pan or whatever you right, come up right. with for Brian. Right, Ken, I use a can, like a Coke can. Right? Okay, right, 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 right. And Craig, I use a keg. Okay. okay. So Poor Craig. Any no, Craig I'm just kidding. I need, I'm just now looking for the facial feature <laughs> right, right. that jumped out at me first, and I'm going to smack him with the can or the keg or whatever. <laughs> but that's from my head, right? Right, so right, I've given right, you right. Enough tools. No, that's good. I've given you enough tools to work on it. If you just replay this video a few times and mm -hmm. think about and put into practice the things that I said, right, right, and tap into your creativity, I agree. You will have. An increased ability. No, I really to start like that. Using your uh, your own photographic memory. Yeah. Now, listen, if you never walked in your life, and you're 30 years old, and someone started teaching you to walk, you would pick it up very quickly. Right. Memory is the same way. Right. Right. You just haven't been using it since about fourth grade. Once you start doing even this short little thing that we covered, you'll be amazed at how quickly you start to remember things. Yeah. And have fun and yes. develop. You know, maybe you'll get to 11% too. <laughs> right. Well, I, I remember one thing that you said, and then that was the first thing you said when I first walked up to you, is you said, we don't give ourselves credit for having a photographic memory. Correct. Just giving ourselves credit for the photographic memory gives you the confidence and, and the strength to, to try to utilize sure. this too. Society we have to give ourselves. Society yeah, we, teaches us that we have no skills, that we're right. dumb, stupid. Uh, right, okay. Yeah. And so we're spreading the aloha. That's right. So um, thank you very much. And it was so nice meeting you and thank you for your time. And I'll definitely use this in my future and I really appreciate you. Aloha and, aloha. and blessings. We're gonna have a wonderful day. It's a perfect day in Hawaii. That's correct. I'm glad to meet, make a new friend. Aloha. Okay. Cheers. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, we're, we're talking about numerology as well. And so I'm going to, we're going to end this at eight minutes because uh, that's a good number. So loving you and loving everybody. Peace on earth. Aloha.